The owner of a Brookside restaurant isn't letting a fire stop him from serving customers and his employees. That fire badly damaged Michael Forbes' uh, bar and grill restaurant last week. Tonight, the employees are still working. 41 Action News reporter Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live in Brookside, where employees set up their serving area. That's right, Krista. Normally, this event, the Brookside Art Annual, is one of their busiest times. This year, well, they aren't able to serve food here because their kitchen was damaged in that fire, but now they're selling drinks, drinks, collecting tips, anything to show that their perseverance and hard work is much stronger than any fire. More than a week after this fire nearly destroyed Michael Forbes' grill. Fire department said another 10 or 15 minutes, this whole building would have gone down. Being replaced in here. Owner Forbes Cross works to get it back the way it used to be. Still smells like smoke. The electrical fire started in the basement. But you can see and smell the smoke damage everywhere. This is all, you know, condiments and serve. Everything's been taken out of the building, being cleaned or, or thrown away. So far, they've thrown away some five dumpster loads of burned items. What a waste. But perhaps the biggest loss is time. The restaurant won't reopen for another six to eight weeks. This is our biggest month of the year. That means employees like Tracy Haynes are out of work until June. They're struggling. While insurance covers the employee's salary costs, servers only make about $350 an hour. The rest comes from tips. On a typical Friday night, they can make, you know, $100 to $200. So Cross and employees have come up with this, T-shirts and other fundraisers to make up for the lost wages. We don't want to lose them now that we've had all the smoke damage. They had Cross won't lose his restaurant either. He plans to completely redesign the space. You can't dwell on the negative. You got to think of the positive. We're going to, you know, we're going to come back better. So they're going to be out here for the remainder of this art fair until Sunday, collecting tips, anything they can. Again, all of the proceeds they collect here are going to go to these people right here, the employees at Michael Forbes. Reporting live, Brendan Gonzalez, 41 Action News.